Well, National MP Tim van der Molen has been censured by Parliament and stripped of all his portfolios after the Privileges Committee ruled he'd acted in a threatening manner toward Labor MP Shannon Halbert. The committee found him in contempt of Parliament, but Christopher Luxon says that's not a sackable offence. Political editor Jenna Lynch reports. A forced sorry. I'd like to extend an apology to all members of this House. National MP Tim van der Molen found in contempt of Parliament and forced to apologise for his inappropriate behaviour in a parliamentary select committee. I'm horrified at the thought of my conduct having been perceived as threatening. But that's exactly how people felt. The Privileges Committee was tasked with investigating a dust-up between Tim van der Molen and Shannon Halbert. I, I certainly did feel threatened. Uh, at the time I was seated and Tim was standing. The committee found van der Molen had stood less than a metre from Halbert in a threatening manner and ordered Halbert to stand up, mate. Uh, certainly there's no place for that sort of behaviour, for threatening behaviour or intimidation in Parliament. The Privileges Committee ruled van der Molen's behaviour was aggressive in the sense of being hostile, unprofessional and with an element that was objectively threatening, but not in the sense of physical violence. The report said the behaviour cannot be condoned as normal or acceptable. Are you harbouring a bully in your caucus? Absolutely not. Yeah, and I'd, I'd, I'd point you to the report and its findings where it describes the behaviour as aggressive, threatening, unprofessional, unacceptable. Labor's Rachel Boyack witnessed the altercation and was the MP who made the complaint. Tim was very aggressive. You thought you were going to witness an assault? I was concerned that that was where things could go, yes. Parliamentary staff were so concerned that they nearly called the security button. She says Labor tried to sort it out directly. Christopher Luxon in particular um, didn't uh, take the matter seriously. Uh, we did take it incredibly seriously. He's been very crit quick to criticise other uh, politicians' behaviour. He needs to look at his own. Being found in contempt of Parliament is the most serious judgement an MP can receive. Tim, are you fit to be an MP? Yes, I believe so. Uh, well, in my view, it doesn't meet the threshold for sacking Tim out of Parliament. What it meets the threshold for is actually proportionate and appropriate response and some pretty severe consequences for him. How is contempt of Parliament not a sackable offence for you? Uh, uh, what I'm saying to you is that I think it's not a sackable offence. Van der Molen says his last year has been difficult. Sure, I've had a difficult time losing my sister and breaking my neck back and arms. It's difficult for anyone to go through, but there's no excuse. No excuse for threatening your colleagues. Kia ora, Jenna. So, how's Luxon handled this? His own standards have come back to bite him here. When Michael Wood was under fire for failing to declare his shares, Luxon said that Wood should have been sacked on day one. Before any investigation took place, he called the Prime Minister weak for not doing so. Whereas in this case, Luxon has waited until he's been dealt a report with indefensible evidence in it before he's taken any action. These events took place over a month ago, and before referring it to Parliament's court, Labor tried to get National to act. I've seen the email chain between the two party whips and granted it does end with Labour saying thanks for looking into it so Luxon may be forgiven for thinking that the matter was dealt with. That might stand as an excuse had he not created a rod for his own back in demanding instant sackings for bad behaviour from the Prime Minister. So now Christopher Luxon stands charged with hypocrisy with a capital H. Jenna, tenakwe.